Praise the Lord. Good to be with you. This is Breakfast with the Bishop. This is Bishop Gary Parson. Glad to see you. I want to make a plug for one of my dear, dear brothers. I've known him many, many years in Bardstown, Kentucky. Uh, Brother Mark Cummings, his lovely wife, and that. We were just with them a few weeks ago, and they just blessed us so many ways, and we just love them. But again, a new show. You can get it here on Facebook. You can get it on YouTube, various places. Turn into our website. And, uh, I don't even know why it's brand new. But it's called Sunrise Sunset Ministries. And they're on about 10, 12 minutes. It's like this show. And uh, I introduced them a few weeks back. I don't know how many shows he was in. I'd like to just let you know these guys are some real precious Christians. Precious, precious brothers and sisters. And they got, especially music, they got so many good songs to share with you. And they got a word. And they got a testimony. Tune into them. Sunrise, Sunset. Uh, brother and sister Mark and Annette. Cummings, praise the Lord. Also, want to uh, minister to you on, on another thing. September 28th, 29th, and 30th, Feast of Tabernacles meeting in Bartow, Florida. My dear, dear and trusted friend, Bishop Gene Martin and his church. I'll be one of the speakers. I can't wait to get there and see all of you in that area. God bless all. Let's go to the Word of God. If you would turn to your Bibles, if you have one and got a chance, Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 10. And I want to I wanna take that and uh, share that with you. And he says, I the Lord search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Now, a lot of times you hear that preached in a negative way. But I want you to know that God searches the hearts of each of us. He, he judges us by the deeds done in our body. That's what 1 Corinthians says. And he judges us by what we do. Another principle found in Galatians, if you sow to the Spirit, you reap life. If you sow to the flesh, you reap the whirlwind. If you sow a little, you get a little. If you sow a lot, you get a lot. And God searches our hearts. He tries the reins. In other words, if you're riding a horse and you gee and you haw, you pull and he, he slows you down and you speed up, and this is to the right. You know these things better than I. I'm no horseman. But he, 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 he tries our reins, and he gives to every man. Listen to that. Every man, every woman, every child. gives to every man according to his ways. What ways? The ways that you're doing. If you're doing good, he'll give you good. If you're doing great, he'll give you great. If you're doing wrong, uh-oh, he won't give you anything. He'll just let the situations carry in. If you're uptight or having problems, he'll try to get you out of it. But if you don't make the change, he, he just he, he just waits on you until you can get out of that. It's kind of a hard thing. I, I need to really teach that in a deeper way. I don't want to do that. I just want to give you just an outline just to show you. Uh, but listen, he, and, and he judges you according to, his, according to the fruit of your doings. I can be loaded down with the gifts of God. I can be loaded down with the natural things. I can have money. I can have friends. I can have three or four cars, a boat, uh, a condo, whatever. But if I don't do anything with it, if I don't bless anyone, uh, really what good's it doing except for my, my flesh and maybe my family? But God, God wants to reward us according to the fruit of our doings. What are we producing out there? Uh, the book of James says, Be you a doer of the word, and not a hero only. Uh, for when you come in and say, a man looks and, and, and he sees himself and right away he forgets he's a Christian, he forgets he shares, he forgets he loves, he forgets all these things. And he goes back to before he was saved and says, well, this is mine. I'm not going to share it with anybody. This is who I am. And that's really not true. He, he, he sees, he forgets to see. When you look into the mirror, which is the word of God, you, you don't see you. You see the Genesis face. That's the face of your, of your beginning. My beginning began in Christ. It didn't begin with Gary Parson. Uh, my beginning began with Christ. I was in the mind of God many, many years before I was ever born. He had a plan for me. He has a plan for you. He has a destiny for you. He has uh, a walk for you to walk. And, 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 and all your dreams that are, that, are, that, are, that are in your spirit, in your soul, He wants you to fulfill them. He wants you to be a success. He wants you to be uh, a winner. He never intended for any of us as Christians to fail. Now, there may be failures in life. 
I'm certainly not the judge, but you don't have to be. You don't have to be. Listen, he's searching your heart right now. He's trying your reins. Sometimes that's a hard thing. Uh, I'm used to going doing my doing it my way and singing a lot of Frank Sinatra. I did it my way. Hey, that's an Elvis ending. <laughs> and I can't sing it anymore. But he, he, I, I'm used to doing that. All of a sudden, he's pulling on those reins saying, Hey, hey, preacher, slow down, slow down, stop. Now, turn, turn. Does you ever do that in your life? Get you to do something different? Makes you uh, stop and realize that the road you're going on probably isn't the best one? Uh, I don't want to be critical of any of you. I just want you to see that he gives to every man according to his ways. I want to give life. I want to give blessings. I want to speak a good word. I want to be able to change this world. I, I want to make America great again. <laughs> I want to keep America great again. I want to return us to righteousness, peace, and joy. I want to see us walk in peace. Our country needs a healing. Our state needs a healing. Uh, does your life need one? My life could always use more healing. I need more understanding to understand people that aren't like me and to love them. I need more knowledge and wisdom as to how to speak, how to work, and how to act. Uh, I don't want to just say some things that would hurt you. If you get hurt on my broadcast, it's, I certainly didn't know, didn't know it, wasn't aware of it, and didn't, didn't have that in mind. I come to do what these scriptures said. I want to give every man according to, the, to his ways, according to the fruit of his doings. I want my doings, I want the fruit of my doings to be righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Spirit. I want that. I want you to have that. Uh, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? God's searching your heart. He's trying your reins. But he'll give you. He'll give you according to your ways. If you have ought this morning against someone, you're only going to receive pain and problems. Not from God. He'll get it from various sources. Believe me, walk outside and just wander around. You'll get in trouble. Uh, if you've got loneliness, if you've got something wrong, this is the time. Let God let God move on this broadcast, on this part of the show. Let him take away all those negative things so that all there is is good fruit, beautiful apples, beautiful pears, beautiful strawberries, all the fruit of the Spirit that's in your life. And I know they're not literal fruits. That's an example. But let, let God, let God come in this morning. Uh, let him, if you're not saved and you're listening, accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. If you need a touch and healing, I'm going to pray here in a minute. Allow the Spirit of God to touch you. If you need a friend, ask God, Hey, Lord, bring someone into my life. And the Bible said he that would have a friend would show himself friendly. Somebody new drops in, don't, don't be suspicious. Just love them. You don't have to give them your bank account. All you have to do is just love them. You can tell real fast if they're a gold digger or if they want to be your true friend. They'll, they'll show you. Uh, let, let, this, let this program help you today. I, I read these scriptures... Uh, uh, Monday after Monday or whenever they put this out. Some of them don't do it until Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever. But I read these scriptures not just for me. I read them for you. I want to make sure that you have access to the Holy Word of God and that you can use these scriptures. It's not just a, somebody preaching to you. It's not just something you see, but it's something real. Let the Lord search your heart this morning. As I pray, would you bow your head? Father, I ask that if there's someone out there listening and they need you, would you... Would you come into their heart right now and they can accept you as their personal Savior? Lord, we, we pray that, that you would lift them up out of the darkness that they're in and out of the, the places that they are that are so heavy. You touch them, Lord. Lord, those that are moving in the wrong direction, whatever that would be, would you, would you pull on the reins, Lord, apprehend them and set them back on the, the road you want them to walk, Lord. Search their hearts and let, let, let there be a good fruit so that whenever they do something, it's pleasing unto you, and it helps the brothers and sisters out there. Lord, if, if, and if they need something, send someone by, Lord, that they would be able to have a friend, and they would be able to, to, to receive something. Bless them, Lord. If they're listening to this program, open it not by my words, but by your Spirit, that whatever's said this morning, that they can be blessed. Each life can be touched. Each one. I'm seeing someone out there right now. You've been crying out to God for two weeks. Lord, 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 give me a change. Give me a change. I, I don't want to walk and go this way anymore. You're the one, and maybe many of you, I don't know, but I know one in particular 
that he's pulling on the reins. He's pulling on the reins. Wants you to stop that direction, make a different, to make a shift, a paradigm shift. Move. If you're going to the right, you're too far over, move to the left. If you're going to the left, you're too far over, move to the right. If you're going in reverse, uh -uh, go straight ahead. Push on in him. But I, I want to make sure each of you get ministered to. And there's one out there that's got a hurt in your right shoulder, probably the weather, arthritis. Uh, I want to pray for you for healing. Lord, I want you to touch that right shoulder. I don't care if there's a thousand or just one. You can minister to them, Lord, through this program. Touch them, heal them, make things well in their life, not just the shoulder, but in their heart. But touch that shoulder. Make it well, make it well. In Jesus' name, we bless each one on the program today. Lord, we ask that you minister to them in every way that they need so that the fruit of their doings is good and that you've searched our heart and found us in a good place with you. I bless this people that's listening in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. Till next time. Bishop Gary.